Chris Rock has joked about black people and their money. Shaq is rich. The white man that signs his check is wealthy. <laughs> Wealth is passed down from generation to generation. You There's a sad truth in his humor. Studies show black people tend to chronically make less, save less, and pass less money on to the next generation than their white counterparts. And if you don't have assets, you can't pass them on. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Marvin and Kathy Dickerson are making sure their family doesn't follow the same pattern. One or two bad moves, and it's going to follow you. Married for nine years, the couple started planning their finances well before welcoming six-year-old Kaylin and three-year-old Miles. How's this a fair fight? We knew we had to invest uh, because we knew one day we were going to have kids and we wanted our kids to have more than what we had. The Dickersons developed a budget, paid off their debt, began investing and set up a will, a trust and 529 plans to pay for their kids' college educations. We can pass that wealth of those assets on to our kids with a $1.5 million tax exemption. But this family is the exception. According to the Brookings Institution, the median net worth of black Americans is about $28,000. Compare that to $140,000 for the median household nationwide. What were your parents saying to you to make sure that it was so important that you knew it? You work, you save. While Marvin is a spender, Kathy is a saver, so the couple makes all big financial decisions together. Kathy had this uh, guiding principle, if she, you know, if she spent $100, she got a headache. As we got married and had more resources, you can add another zero. It was like a few thousand dollars. Valerie Coleman Morris, who focuses on financial literacy for women, young people, and people of color, points to a couple of reasons black Americans are so behind in creating wealth and passing it on. Money is still a very much off-limits topic in the average family, but in African-American families, it's almost taboo. Uh, the second thing is the 401k. We are not participating, and when we do participate, we are contributing far less than most other people. But in addition to that, there is this overwhelming need for becoming more financially literate, and we aren't. I'm not talking about rich, I'm talking about wealth. So we need it? But it's more than just talk for the Dickersons, it's a way of life. Stephanie Elam, CNN, Montgomery County, Maryland. Ten. That's ten. What comes after ten?